in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my... I mean, I guess it is just my favorite passing play in Madden 21. I think this play is going to be a lot better in Madden 22 than it is in Madden 21. And I've gotten it down to the point where I'm really confident in sharing this tip and showing you how you can use this passing concept to beat virtually any defense that you're going to face. Now, this is the mesh passing concept, but it's very specific to actually using the mesh routes. We use a lot of mesh concepts, but most people don't use the mesh option routes. So we're going to show you and kind of teach you how to use these option routes out of the mesh in combination with a couple other routes on the play to create a really solid little mesh concept that is popular in the air raid offense. And I think honestly, it's the perfect uh, passing concept if these routes will actually work uh, properly. And I think next year they're, you're going to see that this is going to continue to make some strides in the game. So anyways, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos every single day that can help you get better on Madden 21. And we're also going to be doing videos for Madden 22. So be sure to uh, be subscribed to that if you want to get the latest tips for Madden 22. This is the best place to be able to get all of that content. We post videos every single day as well. And if you haven't joined our text uh, message membership, you can join that by just texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And that's where we release free schemes every single week for our community. Now, for our zone drops real quick here, you're going to see that I'm going to go ahead and put our flats on 30, curl flats on 10, and hooks on 10. This is kind of a popular zone drop spread. Uh, we could also bump these down to five, 25, 5, and 5 if we want. But ten, the, this, to me, is the best way to roll right now. Um, and then we're going to have, you know, just kind of a basic defense here. So we're going to go up against Mike Woods 3. This is definitely the meta, and it's just been the best defense all year. We actually uh, really did a, we actually did a ton of work on creating that. But anyways, uh, Trey Open is what we're going to be rolling with. And this is out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And it's pretty simple. It's just we're going to run the play mesh. We only make really one adjustment to this play. There is another couple. There's two adjustments you can make with Hot Route Master. You honestly don't have to make any adjustments if you don't want to. But I'm going to show you a way to run this with Hot Route Master and without Hot Route Master. So if you don't have Hot Route Master, just leave the play as is. Just don't run. Don't do anything. Just snap the ball. Uh, and let me just show you. Let me just show you a defense. So the one thing I would say is if you don't have Hot Rod Master, you could wheel the running back. Um, that's a, that's an adjustment you could make. And I just want you to watch this circle receiver here on the out cut. So this is very interesting. So you saw right there that he got open. Now, this is really, really important because this is kind of the foundation for what I'm trying to teach out of this mesh play. So if I were to go to, let's just say I go to a spread set, and I'm going to throw the same out route. So I'm going to throw a smart routed out route, and I'm going to put two drags on the field. This is like a, a version of mesh that Mike Leach likes to run from Washington, or I guess now Mississippi State. But anyways, if we just watch this, I want you to watch the out route this time. So same routes, basically. Um, and then I want you just to watch this out route circle. You're going to see that the corner, you see how he sits on that? There's a difference in, this is a really, this is why I love mesh out of three by one. If you want your out route to work properly, you have to pair it with a vertical route. Huge, huge point, huge tip to me. Um, if you want your out route, out route to work properly and be consistent, you have to pair it with a vertical route. So what you see out of a three by one mesh concept is what happens is you go ahead and pair this with a vertical post route, which is a good route in and of itself. But now because I have a post right over there, watch, this corner is going to bail every time. He won't sit on the mesh at all because there is a vertical cut on that side. To me, that is a huge huge point and why i think mesh at least in madden 21 uh, is best ran out of three by one okay out of three by one so another way that we can do this and i can go over here uh to the cluster and just show you this so this is gun cluster right so what i can do is i can put a post to r1 and then i could take godwin and i could put him on the cap to, or the, the cap out or whatever you want to call it and then we can basically just motion this out so let me show you what that looks like so if i do this it's basically the same thing as you can see right here it's just these meshes in my opinion are a little bit better um but then you get a nice route to the back but what you'll see see how he doesn't sit on it because we have a vertical route on that same side of the field 
that is a huge point. So now it, let's go back to two by two spread for just a minute. The problem with two by two spread is because we can't get a vertical route on that side of the field. So the out route, unfortunately, is never gonna work exactly the way we want it to because we have to do this. Now, the one thing you can try is putting your running back on a vertical, um, like on a, on, a, on a streak. You could also just streak the slot and then put the running back on an in route if you wanted to create kind of the same concept, but still not true mesh. But if you look here, see, look at that. See, because I put the running back on the streak, the corner doesn't sit on it. So to me, that's a huge tip, huge coaching point. Um, if you're running this in mutt, you're going to see the same thing. I've ran this I've ran this play like I cannot tell you how many times I've been trying to perfect this play because this is my favorite play in real life, and I love this concept. So uh, let's continue talking through the rest of the routes on this. So the next thing that we want to talk about, and this is why I love this play so much, is because these mesh routes – so what's going to happen here is these routes to these two drags, when they see zone coverage, they're going to just sit down in the zone. And you can just lowball these in front of the vert hooks. That is huge. With, with a hitch route, you can't exactly do that. So, for example, let me just show what I'm talking about. So if I were to put both of these receivers on a hitch, like if I would put Mike Evans on a hitch right here and I put a flat, uh, and I can't do that, of course I can't. Um, so if I put Gronk on a hitch, and let's just say I do a curl. Watch what happens to the X. You're gonna see, see how he's sitting right there? I can't do that. So you you can't, it, 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 it's a very special route. It's a route that beats vertical hook yellow zones, which is why I love it so much. There's no zone in the game that's gonna guard these mesh routes. That's why they're so good. And you get two of them. So these are just, and, and real quick, I just wanna be really, really clear. The mesh is a check down. Your first read is always to your out route. Every single time, you're going out route to post route to mesh. Out route to post route to mesh. If they blitz you, your hot read is your running back off the left side. We'll talk about that in a minute. But out route to post. Look at that post right there. Now, I want to talk just briefly about what their user is going to do, where he's going to sit, and why he's going to do that. So if you take a look at this defense here, you're going to see that we're three by one. What most people do against three by one is they're going to do something like this. So this is kind of the defense that you're going to see. You're going to get this coverage. This is probably the best coverage in the game for three by one sets. You've got five zones to the right and four zones to the left, one of them being a user. So their user is going to be on the left side of the field. The reason this matters is because it's very um, you have a very good chance of popping this post route right in behind that yellow zone. Okay, that's a huge, huge point. Now, let's say, for example, that they want to send a little bit more pressure and they go with just a traditional Mabel coverage and they don't have a yellow zone on the left side of the field. If they're in that situation, then we're really, really in a good spot because you're going to be able to basically just pop this little route R1 easy read right on, right, right on the rip. So as, and what I love about 3 by one mesh is it's all in the same window. As I'm already looking to the right side of the field and I'm looking to the out route, then I can hit the post route really easily. Now, I'm not naive, and I don't want to I don't want to just say that, you know, this is just, you know, I just want to do the video and say, well, you can just throw the post every single time because I know that you can. Um, what you're going to start to get from the defense is you're going to start to get a little bit of overplaying to that side. So you might get something, um, you might get a defense that looks at basically like this, but then they're going to throw this guy into the middle read. So he's going to kind of flow a little bit more to the, to the right. The user is going to go to the post and then he's gonna come down on the mesh routes. Well, that's fine, it's actually ideal for us because what's gonna happen is this little X route right here, if I pass lead him up, see where he goes? That is beautiful. So get zone coverage when the mesh, when the mesh comes uh, across, if you just pass lead it up, you're gonna be able to kill this no with no yellow zones. You're gonna be able to kill it. So, okay, they're gonna say, okay, well, let's do something else. Let's try to adjust, what, what, what's our next step? No, not, even, not even talking about the fact that you're throwing out routes all day long. And I'm gonna t come back to the out route in just a moment, but I wanted to talk about this right here. So if you get a look like this, where they're gonna use her to the three by one side, which is honestly very uncommon with the way people play this year, they don't really do that. But if they do, then again, you're working this two man, this, this combination of max, right? Pass it up right there. See how he just settles up in the zone? It's different than a drag. The reason why I like mesh routes over drag routes is drag routes will always run, like they won't stop. And when you try to pass lead them back like into the space, they will always pass lead it forward into the zone. So you're always gonna get sectioned into zones. What I like about the mesh play is that is not what happens. Now, let's talk about, um, let's talk about uh, cover forward for just a moment. So if you get a cover forward look, um, you know, nothing too com uh, complex. 
with this. Um, this is just four deep, and I just want to show you this out route again. So I, I want to go over that real quick. So if you watch this out route against cover four, you should be able to beat it. Look at that right there, because again, the post route serves a function. It serves as a vertical route to pull every single zone out of the way so that we can pop that over and over and over and over again. What's really cool about this is what they're gonna, what you're gonna force them to have to do is you're gonna force them to have to go to Tampa 2, but not just any Tampa 2. They can't just go to a Tampa 2 with, you know, Mabel, a Mabel Tampa 2 where they have 30 yard cloud flats. And I'm gonna show you that right here. So if I have 30 yard cloud flats on here, watch this out route. Down and away, easy read. They can't, cannot stop it with that. It has to be stock Tampa 2, that's what they have to call. Um, a t one other little trick that they can do, I do want to go over this, is what if they put purples out there and they put the deep zones from the underneath, something like that. Now this is a pretty good option, um, but again, I want to show this to you. So 10 yard curl flat, see how he sucks in? See how the post, the post will suck him in? The mesh route also, when it comes across, is gonna suck in that purple zone. So the purple zone can't get out there as well as he would think he could. And so what, what I love about this concept, guys, is that out route is so good when you pair it with a post route, but you have to pair it with a post route. Now, the cool part about Hot Route Master, and I haven't even gotten to that part of this video yet, but we're gonna table route the table route for that. You could also put him on a ghost route if you want to. Um, if you're getting a lot of zone coverage, you could certainly put him on a post, uh, a table, or a, a ghost route, I'm sorry. And the reason why I like a ghost route is because when I put Godwin on a post, um, then what you're gonna see is this right here. So if I just wait on this post route, you're gonna see it's gonna go all the way across and I can hit it on the sideline just like that. So I love that read. It's a great, great concept. I will say that if it was me, um, I if I was in Mutt and I was running this, I would be running Hot Route Master and I would be putting this guy on a post almost every single time. And the biggest reason why I like to put him on a post is if I just leave him on this route, you're gonna see that he's gonna run himself into coverage, unfortunately. So you see that the deep cover three zone is gonna be right in the vicinity to take him away. If I don't put a streak out there, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And then the other thing that I wanna talk about just real quick is if I were to do something like this. So if I were to put a wheel out there, and this is like a late, you know, everything breaks down kind of read. So I got a wheel route. You see that the wheel route is not, see how he doesn't pull him, unfortunately. If he did, it would be really cool We'd get a cover three beater, but he just doesn't. So it just is what it is. But I'm telling you right now, this mesh play is so, so good. It, I cannot stress you enough how good it is. I want to do one last little thing, and then I want to talk about it against man, and then we'll be done. So uh, I want to show cover two, like cover two uh, sync. Again, this is gun tray open mesh out of um, out of um, Arizona. And what you want to do is you want to set these other plays as your audible spacing wheel um, and X drag if you're going to actually be running this scheme. So let's just go ahead and cancel the zone drop. So I want to go over this real quick. Um, we can go over, we can go over cover quarters, and we can also go over. We can just go over a couple things real quick. So this is just for the out route, just so that you can see um, just how good this out route is. So real quick, cover three kind of match was without zone drops. Uh, just watch this. You're going to see that this R1 is going to get jammed, and it's going to really open up this. And of course, I I threw it a little bit early a little bit too early there but it's going to open up the out route so the press um the press on the corner so if i get a curl flat read like that um this press on the quarter see that oh i ran commit dag on it keep messing this up so the the press on the corner on the on the quarter um not on the quarter on the yeah on the, from the slot corner so the press that he's gonna do should open up, let me pass command, but this should open up circle. So all the way to the outside, that's what we're looking for. So you see against cover three, um, just kind of stock cover three, out route's still wide open. So now let's go over um, cover four show two. Now cover four show two is gonna be a little bit different um, just as far as how it plays, because it is a match coverage and Generally, this does a decent job against out routes, but watch, because you pair this with a post, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one. -on -one. And if you've got, what I would do in Mutt is I would put uh, the either the mid-out or the short-out ability on that player so that he can get out there really, really well um, and be able to beat the coverage. I don't really, I don't really think this stops it. I mean, he does kind of get out there, but... 
if you have an ability on him because he's converting to man, you're gonna be you're gonna be okay. So I, I don't know. I mean, I would trust it, but if you throw a pick on it, then maybe you just don't throw it against cover quarters. If you see that look, now again, if you do see that look, there's so much else open. I and I didn't even touch on this yet, but there's so much else that's wide open against cover four quarters. Um, that's not even funny. This little quick route to the back is wide open against match. Like it's so good against match. Uh, because you get this 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 mesh route service is like a pick route in man-to-man -man coverage, which I love. I absolutely love that about this. So if they try to blitz you, you've got a quick read to the back every single time. The other thing that I like about this is um, your mesh routes. You see how they'll they'll kind of settle up in the zone just like that. Easy read, low ball, pretty much wide open every single time. The and then the other thing about cover four quarters is you've got a pretty decent shot at hitting this uh, post right on the cut right in that little pocket right there and this is it's a kind of um it, co quarters probably honestly will defend this the best because if they just use it a post but again i don't want to i don't want to you know belabor the fact that your mesh is wide open wide open dude so just take your mesh it's so good and now let's cover this against tampa 2 tampa 2 to me is the best way that they're going to be able to stop this number one because they get more underneath zones but number two, just because of these soft squats on the outside and how they're going to play. So you'll see that the out route is really not a possibility. But your drags are wide open underneath. And what's really cool about this is if they're going to stop you, their user has to go to the post. And so because he has to go to the post, um, obviously I can throw this right now quick. little hot read off the outside. Easy read against that. Um, the other thing you can do if you know it's Tampa 2 is you can tag a fade so if you're getting a lot of tampa 2 you can tag this little fade on the outside and look at that you're killing it right over the top so if you're getting a lot of tampa 2 that's that's an easy tag out of this out of this mesh concept another thing is if you wheel the back so wheeling the back is not as good as it was in years past as you can see so i, I would just leave it with like a flat or you could even block and release the back against tampa 2 um, if you wanted to and then, of course, lastly, um, I just want to show you the post. Um, the mid-read goes to the post, but I will say that most people that run cover two, they're not going to be using mid-reads. They're going to user him, so you have to understand that. But if they, you know, I mean, and I'll show you the route. Um, you'll see right here that if I, and I've got like a good pass for sure, but like right on that side, right there, you can kind of fit that in. Um, this is also why I like to hot route master this. Um, post because on this specific coverage um, you're gonna see that this post is gonna be a lot better if you hot see how the memory doesn't match him because he's flatter that's that's a really good look right there so so what's gonna happen is their user is going to have to if they're in cover two their user is going to have to guard the post so what this does is it opens up your mesh so you see right here, look at all this grass I've got. Look at all that grass I've got right there. I can take grass right there, um, and I can take grass on the left side. So this play is unbelievably good. Um, what about press man, you might be asking. So press man, this is why I like to put short um, short out elite or whatever, mid out or whatever the ability is on that out route. Um, this out route does beat it, though. You'll see right here, just beats him in the outside. And I shaded outside and underneath. So um, you get these press wins. If they run press coverage against this, this is not a great look for them. Um, pretty much every route is gonna get open against man. So you see on the cut right there, easy dot. Um, now again, you might be saying, well then, but they've got better corners, but you also got better receivers and you've got an ability on your receiver. If this was still um, where we were getting a lot of one step ahead, then you might have a point. But because we don't have any more one step ahead, this is really good. The other thing that I really like about this is if you look on this left side, um, this route to the back is really good. It's basically a natural man switch that's going to occur. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get really good little releases uh, to your back out of this. So if you get a really good press man type of team and you just want an easy five yards, just hard outside pass lead this and then just get outside and get you some easy yardage. Very good against man-to-man -man coverage. And then the last thing that I want to go over, well, I guess two things. Um, so your hot route master post to R1 uh, what I love about this is this is always going to beat man. It beats man every year. It's really good. It's going to beat man next year. I guarantee you that route has been good for the last, I don't even know. I mean, it's been good forever. So 
that post route is so good. You don't have to hot route master it either. If you, it, it's actually better if you against man specifically. This is only for man coverage, but against man coverage, it is better if you don't hot route master it. Okay, so if you're getting a lot of man, then you don't want to hot route master it. And then your mesh routes. This is a really important tip. Mesh again is the check down. So by the time you come to this mesh route, you see you he see he's going to keep running. If you know it's man, then please just put them on drag routes. Don't try to run mesh if they if they're showing man, right? Just drag them. But if they are, you'll see here. If I throw this early, you'll see it sometimes glitches out. Now, mesh routes are always taught to run to grass. They're always taught to run to grass. So what's going to happen is when you throw this, if this is before they've fully converted them into drags, it's going to throw to the open space. So you'll see right here. If I pass lead him to the right, he's still going to go there, but. The, the coaching point here is you don't want to be throwing a mesh route against man until after it passes the point at which it converts. So for Gronkowski, we're going to throw it at the numbers. For Evans, we're going to throw it right past the hash. That's the little coaching point against this. So let's say you get a cover zero blitz. Um, and I love mesh. Mesh is so good against the blitz. Like, it's so good against the blitz. But you can see I'm going to get a free release on everybody, and I've got my post route wide over the middle. I've also got my out route. Um, that I can throw as well. Let's talk really briefly about like a cover three blitz. This is a, a popular tactic right here, something like this. Uh, if you get blitzed out of this, you're throwing right there, no questions asked, and go get you, that right there. It's so good against the linebacker blitz. If you're getting blitzed, throw your throw your running back route. Now let's say, okay, well, uh, what if I'm getting blitzed, but they're using the running back? Well. Then you're going to throw where the opening is, right there. Low ball to post. Easy read. So this play is the perfect play, in my opinion. Um, this is, like, the most unstoppable play that I've been able to develop. But one thing I wish that I could do is motion out of this. I can't motion anyone. That's the only thing. And I wish I could put Evans on the outside. Because Evans is incompressed, it does do some things good and some things bad. Because when they when they go to this, um, like, if they're, if they're running Mike Blitz 3, when they come out of this, this route right here is still it's not as good as it would be if Evans was to the flat or to the to the outside more. If he was to the outside more, this would be really good. Again, if they just blitz, you're just air trucking right up and getting 5 to 10, 15 yards. So it's still good. I don't want to say it's not. I love this play. This is my favorite play in the game right now. Um, it's just so good. I mean, you have to learn how to read it. It takes It's a learning curve. It is a, it, but once you learn it, this is such a fun play to run. It's so good. It beats every single coverage in this game. The one coverage it might give it a little bit of trouble is, like I said, a Tampa 2 that does not have zone drops on. But if a Tampa 2 does not have zone drops on, now you can hit stuff late. Like I can hit this post. I can just wait on it, hit it on the sideline easily. I can also work the meshes underneath. The, the mesh is a check down, though. Really big point. Mesh is a check down. So, anyways, I love the air raid. I hope you enjoyed this. This is my favorite concept in the game. It's my favorite concept in real life to study. Mesh is so much fun to run. If you can run it correctly, it is a learning curve. But if you can run it correctly, you will have a ton of fun with this concept. And if you want to get my full air raid offensive guide, you can get that down in the description. This offense has been my favorite offense for the last two years. And I think it's going to be really, really, really good in Madden 22. I think it's going to be even better because I think the way that the cover three is going to play is they're going to, they're going to make it so that that cover three is not going to stop that out route. And so that out route is going to be so much easier to run from spread. But this is a way that you could do it. You just have to do it at a three by one. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get my air raid offensive guide, I left a link to it down below.